Hey guys, my name is Marnie and I'm a professional wing girl and owner of the Wing Girl Method, which means it's my job to tell you tons of secrets about women so you can be really successful with them. Now let me ask you a question. It's a little personal, but I feel like we're at that level where we can ask each other these types of questions. Do you believe that your penis is the only thing that can give unmeasurable pleasure to a woman? If you answered yes to this question, then you definitely need to watch this video because I'm about to shock the hell out of you. Did you know that your hands can be equally as good at giving pleasure to a woman, if not better? That is if used correctly. The wonderful thing about your hand is that it can bend increase and decrease in size by adding or eliminating fingers, and it's much easier to control than a straight stick. My job as your wing girl is to teach you just how to use that hand of yours so that any woman you touch will be extremely happy she met you. So first things first, before you even get close to touching a woman, you wanna be sure that those hands of yours are well prepared. That means no coarse nails or dirt under your fingers and a good soap scrubbing are essential. You don't want anyone walking away with possible cuts or a fungal infection. Not good PR for you and definitely not good for the girl you're touching. Now that we have gotten the obvious, but I guess not so obvious out of the way, it's time for me to teach you how to give a woman the most amazing experience using just your little fingers. Okay, I've laid out a few steps for you to follow to make this as easy as possible. Step one was a hygiene comment. Step two, go slow and touch softly at first. A woman's vagina is like a delicate little flower. A flower that needs special attention and sensitivity in order to open up and bloom. I've been with men who treat my precious V like a slab of meat, poking, prodding, pounding, awful experience that totally ruins any attraction for me. Women are different than you in that we can't just dive into a sexual act unless we are properly stimulated and aroused. So step number two is all about prepping a woman so that she's ready for your fingers. That means your hands don't even come close to her vagina until you've carefully prepped and teased her entire body. I call this teasing the V until she can't take it anymore. Okay, so go back to our little flower scenario. Picture yourself holding a flower in your hand. The petals are spread out with numerous places to focus on. Start with the outside of the petals, first lightly touching and caressing them until they start to open up a little bit. Then slowly move inward, touching a little more heavily with the bend of the fingers. And I'll show you what I mean by that. This is the bend. See how there's a bend here? There's probably a better name for it, but I'm calling it the bend. You wanna be sure you aren't dabbing with the tip of your fingers, you're using this bend space to apply slight pressure when rubbing. Once you feel her starting to get wet, it means it's time to go to step number three. And step number three is what I like to call the rake. I'm, I'm really trying hard to go with this gardening thing, so bear with me. But picture a garden rake. You know that thing with prongs on the end that levels the soil? Once you've prepped a woman and she's wet and ready for you, it's time to start raking. What I mean by this is using your fingers like a rake and raking the liquid in an upward motion from bottom to top, like this. Again, using those bends in your fingers, not the point of your finger. Do this slowly and with a little bit of pressure and after about five to 10 strokes, slowly enter one finger inside of her and make sure the finger is wet. You should never enter a woman with a dry object, even if she's wet inside. Begin with one finger first and then add one or two more slowly. You can insert, then, go straight in and pull straight out. Or what I like is when a guy partly pulls out and then slowly twists his finger before inserting them back in. A big mistake that most men make when fingering a girl is that they treat their fingers like a dildo or a penis. In and out and in and out and in and out. It's not enjoyable. So it's no good for a woman because there are so many super sensitive nerve endings inside a woman that are not stimulated by friction. She gets an orgasm because these sensitive areas are stimulated in a rhythmic motion. Look at the girl your hands are inside of and see whether or not she enjoys it. If she's lying there stiff and not making any noise, it's a big sign to you that this move isn't cutting it for her. But if her body is moving and she's making those good noises, it means something you're doing is feeling good and she wants you to continue. So in the beginning, I like it when a guy goes from inserting to playing within my clitoris to totally moving away from my vagina for a few seconds so that I can't stand it anymore. You can even do the back and forth move a couple of times, but after that, you wanna to stick to one area to put your full focus on. If you notice that your girl was reacting more to you touching her clitoris, then hunker down and zone in on that clit. Continue moving the bend of your fingers in slow circular motions with moderate pressure and slowly increase the speed as she gets more and more excited. If you wanna add in some extra oomph and 
and your hand will allow it, rest the palm of your hand on her pelvic area. That's the little area just above the pelvic bone and start to apply pressure. If that gets to be too much and it distracts you from pleasuring her, stop doing it and go back to her. If on the other hand, your girl was more excited when you inserted your fingers, put them back in and go on to step four. And step four is all about hitting these areas and the main areas are as follows. The G-spot, the deep spot, and the clitoris. The G-spot is located about two to three inches, which is five to seven centimeters, inside of the vagina at the front wall. The texture of the G-spot is usually pretty rigid, so it's almost like touching cooked grains. That's kind of what it feels like. The deep spot is also located at the front wall, but its location is a little deeper inside than the G-spot, and the texture is totally different. The texture of the G-spot is completely smooth, so it's pretty easy to tell the difference. Both are great spots, so you can't really go wrong. You don't have to be that precise when you stimulate these two spots. Just enter one or two fingers inside of the vagina, halfway or all the way in, then press the pads of your fingers up against the vaginal wall. Start slowly and softly and build yourself up to a hand thrust. When you press your fingers up against the G-spot or the deep spot, look at her facial expressions. You will definitely know when you're hitting the right area. Most girls will start to breathe instantly with a loud gasp. Many tend to throw their head back too, so look out for those signs. If you wanna gain major brandy points and your coordination allows it, you can use your free hand to stimulate her clitoris at the same time. When using more hands, try stroking and penetrating with different rhythms, not automating the same movement with both hands. Keep it steady and don't worry about speed unless she's telling you to go faster. When she says faster, go faster. If you follow these four steps, I promise you, you will have a very happy lady who will be begging for your hands on a daily basis.